He said that, you know, there are many Brahmins and they perform fire sacrifices, chanting Vedic mantras, swaha, swaha, and praying to Bhagavan, the Supreme Lord. But after offering thousands of oblations, Krishna, he does not go there. But where does he go? Gopalanga, Nakarane, Shubhiharam. He is playing in the courtyards of the coward women of Braja, rolling in the mud and the cow down there. But he's too shy to go in the pure place of the yagyas of the Brahmins. Maunam Suti Satayar, there are many sages and rishis doing meditation for thousands of years and they're offering so many prayers, hundreds and hundreds of prayers from the Vedas. And after praying, Om Sahasra Shisha Purusha Sahasra Aksha Sahasra Pate Sahum Hindra Shruto Vritva Atyatista Dasangulam Crickets. <laughs> no reply. No reply at all. Hmm? But, Guru should say, Go Vrisha Hum Krita in Braja, even if the cows will go, Krishna, oh, she's calling me. I'm coming, I'm coming. <coughs> This is Braja, very unexpected. Hmm? That's your Gokula Pumshtal issue. People think if you want to realize God and attain His attention, you have to control your senses. So there are many yogis and rishis who have done pranayama and pratyara and controlled all of their senses because they want Krishna to be their Ishwara, 
their Lord and accept them as His servants. But that's some Goku the Pungstilishu. There are some young teenage girls of Braja, their senses and mind is completely out of control. <laughs> and Krishna, he doesn't want to be the master of those yogis, but he wants to be Dasyam Gokula, he wants to become the servant of those Kankad girls. So, Gyatam Krishna Tavangri Pankaja Yugam, Pray Michael, all I know is this one thing Krishna, you can only be attained by praying, by pure love. Uh -huh. So, in the first verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, the reversals have been described, you know? Janmadhyasya yatambayat itartas chate swabhigaswarat tene brahma pridayadi kavili muyanti yatsuleo tejo vari mradam yata vinimayo yatrati sarvomasha Tamnasvena Sadanirasta Kuakami Satyam Param Dimahi Here, Tejo Vari Madam Damna Swena in the Dham Damna of Radha and Krishna. Then Tejo Vari Madam Fire, Water, and Earth Vinimayo they all exchange their qualities with each other. The earth becomes like water. When Krishna plays his flute, then the stones that cover and melt and start sliding down the, the hill like a waterfall. The water becomes solid when Krishna plays his flute. And the little bird who was going to peck a drop of water from the from the puddle, it becomes solid when Krishna plays his flute and his beak is stuck there and he's laughing trying to get away. So what is earth becomes like water, what is water becomes like earth. Hmm? Fire, that means that which is shining. The moon is shining very brightly, and the jewels, the Chintamani jewels of the Dharma are shining brightly. But when Krishna comes, he is so uh, uh, effulgent himself that that which has stage, effulgence, seems to be dull like earth. Fire becomes like earth, in comparison to the shining beauty of Krishna. And water becomes like fire. When Krishna plays his flute, then the water of the Jamuna jumps up like flames. You know, like flames jump into the sky. The water of the Yamuna jump, Yamuna jumps up like flames, trying to catch the sound of Krishna's flute in the air. So, Tejo Varim Redam Yata Vinimaya, everything becomes backwards, everything becomes the opposite of what it was when Krishna plays his flute. Damnaswe Nasada Nirasta. Kurkam. Kurka means different types of che uh, cheating and tricks and traps. That means that Jutila, Kutila, and also Chandravli and other gopis, they're always trying to make a way to stop Radha and Krishna from meeting. But, Tamnaswe na sada nirasta, all of their efforts fail. And Radha and Krishna, they, Radhika escapes from her home, she outsmarts. And her sakis outsmart Chandravani and their sakis, and Radha Krishna meets Param Satyam Dimahi. I meditate on Satya, the Supreme Truth Krishna, and his Parashakti Radhika, who meet in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. Actually, in his first verse, Srila Vyasadeva has used a very beautiful Alankar. Alankar means a uh, poetic expression, a figure of speech. So the figure of speech, this one figure of speech is called. Prati Vastupama Alankar. Upana, upama means a simile. There's a, an upama, a standard of comparison, an upamaya, the thing which is it's compared with. So this is a simile. So here, there is Prati Vastu Upama Alankar is not that two things have been compared, but one attribute has been illustrated by two different statements. So here the attribute is Ascharya, astonishment, wonder. In other words, when the water, when Krishna plays his flute and the water jumps up like flames, when the rocks begin to melt, the scene in Vrindavan is Adhbut, Ascharya, Chamatkar, completely astonishing. And just as these, each one of these things, there's one example after another, 
So it's called a mala, like a garland of uh, similes. Each one of these things, as it is wonderful, so similarly, the meeting of Radha and Krishna in the Kunjas of Vrindavan is also astounding, completely astounding. So this is called mal mala, a garland of Prativastu Upama Alankar, a garland of comparisons, not comparing the actual thing with another, just comparing the degree of Chamakarita, astonishment. So this Vrindavan is so astonishing. Everything becomes the opposite of what you think. The one brother of Sivaisnava, he said, Mati Rati Yuvati Patiriyat, Kalaita Madhura Mejiko Raja, Gagane Vilasati Nagaram, Naikashiro Mangaram Nama. He's describing this realm, the realm of praying, the realm of love, through a poetic metaphor. He said, there was a king named Madhur Mejak. Madhur means the uh, very sweet, and Mejak means sham color. There's a king who is very sweet and has a sham color. That is the color of romantic love. And this king, he had two queens. Their names were Mati and Rati. So Mati means thoughtfulness, intelligence, using your intelligence to calculate. And Rati means spontaneous love. So this king, he had these uh, two wives. Now the thing is, the king was more attached to Rati than Mati. Why? Because Mati means a love where you think first. You calculate. In other words, it's a love which has some terms and conditions. <laughs> I love you. As long as... <laughs> and these are my terms and conditions. So by Mati, by calculation of the intelligence, we see, oh, you have fulfilled all these terms and conditions or not, and then we love you. Huh? But Rati, actual spontaneous love, never thinks... Huh? Are you good or bad? I don't care. Whatever you do, you have done it, so I love it. <laughs> because it was done by you. <laughs> Understand? This is Rati. Actual, unconditional love. Like Radhika Krishna can crush me in his embrace or he can neglect me. Whatever he does, he is my pran, my life and soul. So the king was more attached to Rati than Mati. So then, Actually, an intelligent person will never stay in a place where they're not respected, or where they're disrespected, or they can see that a situation is about to come where they'll be disrespected. An intelligent person can say, oh, just now, or very soon, I will not be respected properly, and they just humbly give pranam and they leave. So, Mati, the Queen Mati, seeing that the king was more attracted to Rati, she very quietly got up. She was a senior queen and she was making all the rules there, actually. Hmm? But she got up and she went back to her father's house. Hmm? That means, if you want to worship Dharma, religious principles, go to Ayodhya and worship there. Hmm? If you want to follow Vidhi, rules and regulations, and worship according to that method, go to Dwokra and worship there. If you want Mukti, go to Kashi, to Vanashi, go there. But if you want Rati, pure spontaneous love, then you have to be in Prajapati, in Vrindavan, the place of love. So she left. And then when she left, now Rati became the main queen. She made an announcement. You know that constitution that was established by Mati? I am reversing everything. <laughs> I am reversing everything. There's a new law now. Hmm? That is, oh, what was meeting is now separation. And what was separation is now meeting. What was respect is now disrespect. And what is disrespect has now become respect. Hmm? Oh, what is pride became humility. What is humility became pride. Everything has become upside down. Everything has become backwards. What is 
Mm-hmm. Having mm-hmm. no eyes is more than a thousand eyes. Having no hands is more than a thousand. Embracing with no hands is more than embracing with a thousand hands. In this way, she turned everything upside down. And that is this realm of praying. So, Gabane Vilasati Naganam, this Prema Patanam, the city of love, the haven of love, uh, is Gabane. That means it is a city in the sky. This place is in the sky. Mm-hmm. Beyond Vaikuntha, beyond the abode, beyond the understanding of Dhruva Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj, beyond Uddhav even. It is in the sky of the heart of the Rasik Vaishnavas. So if we want to go there, only having a ticket to go to Vrindavan, then we cannot go there. If we go to Vrindavan and associate with the Vaishnavas who are absorbed in the Mool Rasa of the Dharma, then we can have some vision, access to the haven of love. Otherwise, if we go to Vrindavan and we don't have that Brajrasik Sangha, then we're just wandering around the dam like a tiger, in a bad mood, like a tiger in a circus. <laughs> <laughs> so Sadhu Sangha is necessary. Vilasati Nagaram, Naikashiro Mangaram Nama, and this city has not one cheer, that means the towers, tall spires going up into the sky. So it's very beautiful. Naikashir, not one means many in Sanskrit, but night, not one can also mean none at all. And shir means this, this spire of the building, but shir also means head. Head. In other words, this plane of love is, the, is you can only go there if you have no head. <laughs> <laughs> It is said that praying, praying they yourself, love descended to earth and was wandering here and there looking for a place to stay and calling out to all the people who have heads, calling out, please tell me, where is the house of that person with no head? Why? Because she only lives there. Praying only lives there. What does it mean? No head. Uh, it means no worries. No concern, no thinking about this world. Like our six Goswamis, Chaktwa, Tursham, Turnam, Ashesha, Mandala, Pati, Sri, Inusada, Tushtabat. Rupa Goswami was the personal secretary of the emperor. Sanatan Goswami was the prime minister. So many wars and different things were going on. Wars, pandemics. <laughs> but they never cared for and They never thought of anything. They left everything to go to Vrindavan. No head means Krishna said, for one who is always thinking of me, always, and serving me with love, then how will that person stay alive? Where will they get money? Where will they get food? Where will they stay? Hmm? Krishna said, that person is always thinking of me. Then whatever they need, I carry it myself and bring it to them. So that's the person with no head. They never think of tomorrow. What will happen uh, when I'm old? What will I do? Where will I have money? Uh, if you have this chinta, Atmani Vedana, Tuya Padvakori, Hoinu Parvasuki, Dukha Dure, Yellow, Chinta, Narogilo, Chaudiki Ananda, Dei, Shiva Bhaktana Thakur said, Oh, it's my Lord, since I surrendered to you, all my chinta, my worries, they're gone. Gone completely. They never think of anything. In the happiness of serving you, I can't even remember who I am. Purva Itiyas means my previous history, who I am, where I come from, what I did, I cannot remember anymore. This is the meaning, no head. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Snana Darashana Bhajan, Deya Swabhavai, Kumarena Chakadena Sattata Firai. It is said in Jagannath Puri, his snan, going in the morning to take bath in the ocean, Darshan, going to the Jagannath temple for Darshan, Bhojan coming back, honoring Mahaprasadam. It was all going on, like the turning of a potter's wheel. Hmm? When a potter wants to make a clay pot, he takes the clay, puts it on the wheel, and then with two hands he turns the heavy stone, and he gets it spinning. 
But then once it's spinning, he lets go, and it's turning by itself. Now two hands are free to make his artistic point. So instead of Mapu's life, and he's giving example, teaching us how a sadhak should live. Mahaprabhu is teaching by his own example. That's the only way to teach. If you're not falling, you can't teach anything to anyone else. So Mahaprabhu, he's like that. He says, my life is like the turning of the potter's wheel. That means I developed the habit of a regular life, waking up early, going to the bath, they're going to Mangala, they're going here and there, and my body is just going around by itself. Deha Swabhavai. Kumarena Chakayena Satatafirai. So once life is going on, eating, sleeping, resting, all these things, automatically. And Swabhav is too Prabhupada, just from Swabhav. And inside, both hands are free for the service of Radha and Krishna. This is what it means, no end. So now, Bitam Amritam Maya. The poet is, is praying, alas, alas, what is my situation? Alas, I have never drunk Amrita, nectar, in between the sun and the moon. I never opposed the return of Sita and Ram from the forest. And I have never mm, made an offering to Lord Shiva, dipping my head in the Ganges and offered my head to Lord Shiva. I have never done any of these things. So, Mutta Bhagavatam Iyate Mamamanorate Aspadam. Because I have done none of these things, then how can I have a desire to ever realize? Pray. So poetry is not straightforward, you know. The meaning of poetry is not in the words. It's in the suggestion, in the dwani. So the meaning is this. I have not eaten Amrita, tasted Amrita between the sun and the moon. Who did that? Rahu. You know, when Mahini Murti was giving the nectar to the demigods, then the demon Rahu came and sat down between the sun and the moon, pretending to be a demigod, to get his drops of nectar. <laughs> but what happened? The sun and the moon said, hey, he's not a devata, he's, he's a demon, it's Rahu. And then Lord Ajit, by his chakra, what did he do? <laughs> Cut off his head. <laughs> so he has no head. He has no head. It's removed. Vanaga Mahavirodita. Who has complained about the return of Sita and Ram? There was one washerman. He told his wife that went out late and she came back late in the evening. And we, a lady should not stay out after dark. So he locked the door. She came back, oh, let me in. He said, no, no, you have stayed out after dark. So I'm not letting you in. You have been away. She said, but Sita was away from Ram for so long, but he still accepted her back. That, that washerman said, hey, well, I don't like that Ram. I follow Dharma. So it's quite offensive, actually. In his next life, he became the washerman of Kamsa Maharaj. In Mathura. And when Krishna came to Mathura, what happened? <laughs> Again, no head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, Nabunya mm, Shalita I never dipped my dreadlocks into the Ganges and offered my hand to Lord Shiva. Who was that? Vrikasur. So before he could do it, Lord Shiva came and gave him a benediction. I give you this benediction that if you touch anyone's head, it will explode. So he thought very good. So then he thought, let me try it out on Lord Shiva. <laughs> then Lord Shiva was running and Rikasu was chasing after him everywhere. And Lord Shiva could not save himself. So finally, Krishna took one form there as a Brahmin boy and said, Hey, Asur, demon, what are you doing? So I'm chasing after Lord Shiva. I'm going to make his head explode. Oh, he smiled and said, Oh, you don't believe anything Lord Shiva says. How can you take him serious? Hmm? This you don't have such a benediction. Look, if you don't let me just try. You just put your hand on your own head and see. Right? So then Rikasur, he was bewildered by the beauty of the Supreme Lord. He touched his head and boom! Wow. 
So the poet is saying, alas, I am not like Rahu, I am not like that washerman, and I am not like Rikasu. I still have my head. So how would I ever develop love for Krishna? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not an easy thing. Don't forget So in Vrindavan, everyone is like that. Only thinking, Krishna, 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 Krishna. And everything in this realm of love has become opposite. Everything has changed around. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad said that the love of Radharani, just as Krishna is the abode of all contradictory characteristics, so the love of Radharani is also full of all contradictory characteristics. Vigurapi kalayan sadavi vridhim guru api gaura vacharyaya bihina muhu upichita vakrima api shudho jayati muridvishi radhika nuragaha. All glories to the Anurag, the deep love of Radhika for Krishna. Even though Vibhu, it's all pervading, having no room to expand. But still, Sada Vivrithim, it's still increasing. How is it possible? It's all pervading, but still increasing. Because Yadyapi Nimaladha Prima Satarpan Yadyapi Nimaladha Prima Satarpan Tata Biswa Tata Bara Barekshanekshan Radhika's heart is like a mirror, and Krishna's sweetness is reflected there. But her, the, the clarity of that mirror is increasing moment by moment by moment. And because of that, even though Krishna's sweetness it is, is at the maximum point, with no room to increase, but in the Prem Darpan, the mirror of the heart of Radhika, Krishna's sweetness is increasing more and more. So Vibhara Kalyan Sadhah him. Gurapi Gauravacharya Abhina. Even though this love is guru, that means heavy, it's important, it's the most important thing, it's the highest thing. But Gauravacharya Abhina, it is completely devoid of pride. No pride at all. Why? Because it does not matter how much Radhika loves Krishna and serves Krishna, she feels that she's done nothing. Hmm? Premara Swabhava Jaha, Premara Sambanda, Semani Krishna Mori Nahi Premananda. It's the nature of love. That if someone has love, then they feel as if they have not even the smell, the slightest trace of brain from even far away. Very astonishing. Because her love is so full of thirst. If you have a thirst which is unquenchable, an unquenchable thirst, it doesn't matter how many liters of water you drink, at the end you feel like I never had anything at all. So it's Bhakti Gaur Kachikari Ye Rasakan Kiriti. The thirst of Radha and Krishna is so intense that even when they're meeting, the very next moment they feel as, that, as if they have not met and they feel an anxiety and have to meet again. So it says Bhakti Gaur Kachikari Ye Rasakan Kiriti. There's a game, you know, Chao Par. It's a board game, dice chip game that Radha Krishna played. If you go to the Vala Sampradaya temples, then they always put this board game on the pieces and dice in front of Radha Krishna so that they can play at lunchtime. So, uh, so in this game, it's like Ludo. And you throw the dice and then you can move so many squares. And you're going around. And the idea is you have to get all your parts into the safe house. But to land in the safe house so your part is safe and cannot be taken off the board by your opponent. You have to throw the exact number to land there. So when your piece comes there, goat, goat means the piece, becomes, then it's called Paki Goat. It's become mature now, and that piece is safe, and you have to get your other pieces there. But Rasa is like this, Paki Goat Kachikari. The person was playing the game, and they got their piece into the safe house, and then they threw the dice again, and instead of moving another piece, the piece that was safe, they started it and has to go all the way around the board again. <laughs> so, Paki Gaur Kachikari, the piece that was fulfilled and attained its perfection, all of a sudden now is at the beginning again. So, Paki Gaur Kachikari, Ye Rasakan Kiriti, this is the nature of Prema Rasa. When Radha Krishna meets, then, Milata Milata Mila Wolchahi, Mili Mila Nikibur. Milaraskabara prema so pratichinubara tafur. 
even though Radharani are meeting at every moment, but still, at the next moment, they feel as if they have never met, and they want to meet again. Hmm? Radha and Krishna are meeting again and again, from time with no beginning and no end. But still, when Radha and Krishna see each other, then Radharani wonders, Kobala, who is that boy? The leader Sagi said, what are you talking about? <laughs> who is that boy? I've never seen him before. Lalita Saki, it's Lalita Saki today, so we have to say something about the words of Lalita Saki later with them. But she suddenly entered at this point, <laughs> unexpectedly. <laughs> Lalita Saki told Radhika, Oh, what are you talking about? I brought you at night time through the dark forest to meet with him. You spent the whole night with him and now we're just returning. And you turned around and looked and said, Who is that boy? <laughs> And then he said, I've never seen him before. <laughs> oh, Saki, you just came from his lap. <laughs> then Radhika said, oh, yes, now you've reminded me. Uh -huh. huh? But still, it feels as if like a flash of lightning. <laughs> she was with Krishna the whole night, but it was like a flash of lightning. That means if, if it's a dark night, it's very, very dark, and the lightning flashes, after the lightning flash, then it seems even darker than it was before. So this love is like that, very, very full of intense thirst. So because of this, Radhika feels very humble. Oh, I have never served Krishna, I have never loved Krishna. So Vibhurapi Kalayan Sadaab Bridhim, Gurapi Gorva Charya Bhina, Muhu Upachita Vakram Api Sudo, and this love is Vakram, crooked. Aheri Va Kati Prema, so Vava Kutila Bhavet. Just like a snake. You know, if a snake wants to go over there in this direction, first his head goes that way, then his head goes that way, and then his head goes that way. Never in the direction he's going, but by his head going like this, the snake is going in that direction. So love is like this. Vakrim. Very, very crooked. So because of this, then the, in Braj, no one says, I love you. <laughs> to give respect is disrespect. Pornamasi Devi said, Stotram yatra tatastatam prakatayas chittas chidate vidam ninda api pramadam prayatsati pariha sasriyam viprati doshena shaitam gunena gurutam kena pinatam vati prena swara sikasya krasitidayam vikridati prakriya. This is the prakriya. How love moves. Very, very contrary. Stotram yatra tatastatam. If Radha and Krishna, they meet and they will speak some glorification, some praise to each other. Then the other one will think, what's wrong today? There must be something wrong. Why is, it, why is she being tatasta, neutral? Because when you meet just ordinary people, you're not really related to, you're not close to, then you, then you can say very respectfully, your honor, your majesty, your excellency. <laughs> And you show respect. But when is, someone is close to you, then I come here. <laughs> because there's love. But that love is to feel so sweet. The insult, the disrespect even, feels sweet. You know? <laughs> if there's smoke in this room, everyone's like, oh, well, <coughs> take it away, take it away. <laughs> but if the smoke is mixed with agur, you know, wood, the most very beautiful fragrance, Krishna uses this fragrance. So, if smoke is mixed with agur, then it becomes dupe, it becomes incense. And then everyone goes, oh, very nice. <laughs> it's the same thing. So in the same way, insults, but mixed with love. Oh, very, very nice. It's beautiful. Huh? So ninda api pramadam priyatsiti pariha sasriyam vibhati. When Radha Krishna meets, they don't praise each other. Hmm? Radharani tells the sakis, hey, Krishna's coming. Just, let's pick some flowers and pretend we didn't see him. Hmm? Everyone ignore him. Uh, then Krishna comes and sees them. Mm -hmm. So like this, they criticize each other. Radharani said to Krishna, Oh Krishna, I think you are Vakrashwar. Vakrashwar is one uh, deity of Lord Shiva, one shivling, very famous, Vakrashwar Mahadev. Radharani said, you are Vakrashwar. Vakra means crooked. So you are Vakrashwar. Crooked in three places, you can see. Tribanga. But Radharani said, no, 
Crooked in three places. You are, you are crooked. That means deceitful in three places. The past, the present, and the future. <laughs> <laughs> and just as Vakrashra, Mahadev, he, do, he does Tandava Nitra, he does a dance and destroys the universe. So you are dancing and destroying the chastity of all the gopis of Brunei. <laughs> so I think that you are Vakrashra. Uh, love is like this. Criticism. Then Krishna hearing this, this is Anubhav. When Radha Krishna are arguing with each other, it's called Ukti Pratyukti. They feel so much love, they cannot help it, and they're coming back one word after another to each other, quarreling. Ukti Pratyukti. So then Krishna, oh, all right. I may be Vakrasra, but you are Astavakra Rishi. I have three Vakras crooked in three places, but you are Astavakra crooked in eight places. Yes. Vachi kache bruvi dristo smite prayane vaguntate zuridicha. You are crooked in eight places. First, vachi, your words are crooked. Why? Because she's saying, she's criticizing him, you're destroying everyone's self. They never go. But what's the actual meaning? The meaning is, I love you. So your, word, your words are crooked. Vachi kache, your hair is crooked. That Radharani's hair is in, in a veiny, you know? But when she's in ecstasy, then her veiny bursts open and she has a big mass of curls. Very beautiful. So Krishna says, Kache, your hair is crooked. That means curly. Very beautiful. Hmm? Bruvi, your eyebrows are crooked. Because she has very long eyebrows and when she raises them in anger to Krishna, they become very, like bows. <laughs> huh? Bruvi, Dristi, your glance is crooked. Why? Because she doesn't look directly at Krishna. She's looking over here. <laughs> so your glance is crooked. Smite, your mouth is crooked. That means because you're smiling. So your, your mouth is crooked because you're smiling. Smite, Prayane, the way you walk is crooked. Why? Nitam Radhikar is the Gajagamani. Means walks like if you see an elephant. Have you ever been on the road? If you're in Jaipur, there's so many elephants there and they're walking on the road. And they're very big. And when they step, then the hip swings to this side. And they take another side, and the hip swings to this side. And then, so Radhika is very broad hips. She's Nitam Mini, Gajagamini. When she walks like grow gracefully and slowly like an elephant, and her hips are swinging from side to side. So we said, Brayane, the way you walk is crooked. Avaguntane. Hmm? And your veil. Your veil is crooked. Have you seen in the painting of Seva Kunj? Radran is taking a veil and pulling like this and looking towards Krishna. So your veil is crooked. And especially, Riddhicha, your heart is crooked. <laughs> yeah. So in this way, Radhika is insulting Krishna, Krishna is insulting Radharani. But they are full of rasa. Krishna is rasik shaka, very full of rasa. There's not one meaning, many, many levels of meaning. So the first meaning is I'm insulting you. That means I love you. Second meaning, your hair is crooked, your eyebrows are crooked, the way you walk is crooked. That means, whew, you are so beautiful. <laughs> I am charmed by everything about you. <laughs> Third meaning is, I, I may be Trivakra, crooked in three places, but you're crooked in eight places, so you have defeated me. <laughs> you are superior to me. <laughs> and fourth meaning, very confidential meaning. You know that Astavaka Rishi is a Siddha Yogi, perfect Yogi. He has all mystic powers. But how did he get those mystic powers? He's a devotee of Mahadev. So Astavaka Rishi became Siddha. His life was Siddha, perfect, by worshipping Vakrashra Mahadev. So when Radhika says, you are Vakrashra, Krishna says, you are Astavaka Rishi, that means why Radhika make your life perfect by worshipping me. <laughs> <laughs> so all the words of Krishna, everything, he is Masicheka, Akila Samrita Morti Kasimara, Ruchiruda, Taraka, Pali. Oh, Ras is emanating from him. So this is the nature of love. Ninda api pramatam priyakti pariha sasram vibrati. If an insult is there, then the devotee feels like, oh, very nice. And they become overjoyed. Hmm? Doshina 
Shaitan, Gunein Guntam. Usually in this world, if we see someone has a fault, if we see the dosh, the fault in someone, then our love for them goes down. Right? I used to like this person, but you know, you got this love and this, and then our love goes down. <laughs> but if we see someone has got some good qualities, then our attachment for them goes up. But Purnamasi Dev is saying, no, no, no. This love of Radhika is not like that. If Krishna does something wrong, her love does not go down. And if Krishna does something wonderful, her love does not go up. In other words, her love is completely independent of anything that it does, because it has its own life. Prima swara This love has its own life. That's why Krishna was crying when he came back from the Rasalila. I try to reciprocate with you. I want you to increase your love. But anything I do, everything fails. Because your love is so high. It has its own life. So, Deko me sunayo eka bat aneo Brahman viran karga ho gokuda me keo nandaya shura keka Prima nadi arti sada ulti bahira kon pawe jagupa Prima nadi arti sada ulti bahira Listen, I'll tell you something which is a great anomaly. That is that the river of love, usually a river flows from up to down, but the river of love flows the opposite direction. In brain, everything becomes opposite. So, Radha Dham, Vrindavan is like that. Today is Lalita Saptami. What is the significance of this day? Hmm? Is, who can tell what's the significance of Lalita Sakhi? Adi Bhavad. Adi Bhavad Lalita Sakhi. Wrong. Uh, we are celebrating the appearance of Lalita Sakhi, but she didn't appear on this day. In Gorigana Desha Deepika, Srila Rupa Goswami said that Lalita Sakhi is born 27 days before Radhika. So tomorrow is Radhika. So 26 days ago, that was actually in the uh, Shravan Shukla Paksha, in the, in the bright fortnight of the uh, Shravan month, Lalita was born then. But, it's because she's very, very close to Radhika, so we celebrate on the day before. Just like our Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj, we celebrate two days before the appearance of Bhakti Sansa Thakur. But actually that's not his appearance day. That is the appearance Titi. And it was moved to celebrate two together. So because he's very, very close to Bhakti Sansa Thakur. So similarly, we're celebrating today Lalita's day, very close to Radhika's day, because she is so close. Also, in Braj Mandal, mainly develop Sampradaya, they are uh, observing the Lalita Saptani on this day. And they are prominent in Brajlando. All the Brahmins in Mathura are mainly from the Balab Sampradaya. And all over Brajlando, very powerful. So in Haribhakti Vilas it said that you can observe festivals according to the local custom. So though we are Gaudias, but we are Gaudias living in Brajlando. So according to the local custom, we are observing the Lita Saptami today. In the Valam Sampradaya today, they have a very special festival. They decorate Krishna in the yellow cloth, and they decorate him with the Chandrika. <laughs> hmm? Not with the Mukut, with the Chandrika. Chandrika, not the Mukut. It's very confidential. Those who know, know. Those who don't know, chant more. <laughs> uh, so, today is the Lalita Saptami. She is the nearest and dearest Sakhi, nearest and dearest friend of Srimati Radhika. So, I want to speak a few words, what it means, Sakhi, and then how that is illustrated in the life of Lalita Sakhi. You know that Krishna is Paramatattva, Purna, Shaktiman, and Radhika is his complete Shakti. So Radhika, she wants to serve Krishna. Hmm? One day, she was sitting and praying to Yoga Maya. 
And Yoga Maya said, I give you a blessing that whatever desire you want will be fulfilled. So then Radhika sat and went into meditation. And in her meditation, she felt spontaneously a Sankalpa came. I wish I had thousands and thousands of forms to love Krishna all at once. While she was meditating in this way, Lita Saki came and said, Hey, what are you doing? Come. We have to go. And Radhika came out from her. And then when she opened her eyes and saw her Sakis, then she realized, Oh, the blessing of Yoga Maya has already come true. Understand? So, Bahu Kanta Bina Nahi Rasa Rabulas, Lila Rasa Hoi, Lagi Bahu Tapakash. The Rasa cannot come to its highest point unless Krishna has many beloveds. And because of this, Radhika herself has become all oh, the gopis of Vrindavan. They are her expansions. Each one is a murti, a deity, of one of her loving moods. So people think, yes, Lord Ramachandra, he's got great love for Sita. He's the best. But this Krishna is going here and there with so many, so many ladies. No, Krishna's love is far superior to Ram's love. Why? Because first of all, the Supreme Lord always reciprocates. So the love of Sita, the love of Sita cannot be compared to any Gopi of Vrindavan. They're all superior. Every single one of them. From top to bottom. And in addition to that, one may say, well, Lord Ram is dedicated to only one. Ekapat Nivrati has about to only love one woman. But Krishna also only loves one woman. Because the <coughs> Gopis and Vrindavan are Radhika in many, many, many forms. But he's even more dedicated than uh, Lord Ram also. Why? Because even though Krishna's nature is it's my nature, Krishna says, to reciprocate with everyone. And even though every single Gopi of Vrindavan loves him more than Sita can love Ram, but he even, we heard today, Maharaj was saying, he leaves every single Gopi to be alone with Radhika. So, what is the meaning of Sakhi? Sakya Sri Radhikaya Brajakumanda Vido Ladini Nama Sakte Prima Sarang Sa Dal Tulya Kishalaya Dal Pushpari Tulya Sutulya Sitanam Lila Murta Rasani Chaya Ula Santama Musyam Jatulla Sam Sosecha Satguna Vatikam Santiyatam Najitram In Govinda Lila Mrita, there, Anandi Muki, she says that. Radharani is like a creeper of Ladini Shakti, a creeper of the energy to give pleasure to Sri Krishna. And just as a creeper has so many leaves and flowers and mandaris, from this creeper of Radha, so many leaves and flowers of mandaris have come. Mahabhav Chintamani Radha Rasaru, Lalitari Sakita Kaya Vyuharu. Mahabhav Sarupa Sri Radhika is the, the creeper of love and the, the, her sake is Lalita, Vishaka, Chitra, Tampa, Kalata, Hindu, Leka, Tonga, Vikita, Ranga, Devi, Sudevi. They are all like the, the leaves and mandaris uh, manifest from the body of Radhika. So a creeper looks more beautiful when it has surrounded by the leaves and flowers. When the breeze blows, then all the leaves and flowers that move like this. So when Krishna approaches Radharani to meet with her, then all the Sakis are surrounding her. No. No. Come back. Come and come. Then, it's very astonishing. So, Vibharapi Sukarupa, Swapakasha Upi Bhava, Shanamapi Nahirada, Krishna Yoyari Teswa, Prabhakti Rasapushtim, Chitvi Bhuti Ivesha, Swayatina Padamasam, Ka Sakinam Rasakya. Srila Krishna Skarvaj Goswami Pari is saying that the love of Radha and Krishna is unlimited, it is spontaneous, it is self manifest, but Radha and Krishna cannot experience even one second of happiness without the Sakis. Just like Lord Narayan in Vaikuntha is surrounded by his own vibhutis, his uh, opulent potencies in their f 
female forms of shaktis. So in the same way, the sakis of Radha and Krishna are the vibhutis of brain. They are the mystic opulences of Radha's love embodied. In, and they are called the sakis. So, Swayatina Padamasam, Kasakina Masakya, what person who understands rasa would not take complete shelter of the sakis of Simati Radhika? Radhika herself has given an example. She said, Yatsneya Pura Prithapajana Raj Taika, Vatyagra Vatyamala Deepa Yugamcha Kasti. Radharani said, Sneha, love, is very soft, like oil. Hmm? In a, if you have a, a lamp hmm, filled with oil, fragrant oil, then you can put a wick in there and light it, and then this oil is being burnt in the wick and a flame comes from the wick. So Radharani said, myself and Krishna, we are like, we are one atma, we are like one wick, soaking in the oil of sneha, love and affection. Hmm? There is one, that is our, our soul. And someone has lit, it's a, it's a long wick, it goes in the oil and two ends come out. And someone has lit this side and lit this side. So there are two flames. You know, flame is like a teardrop. So she said, there are two flames. One flame is my body, and one flame is Krishna's body. We are like two, our bodies are like two flames, but our hearts are one, soaked and burning in the oil of sneha, of pure love and affection. So when these two flames are burning, then they illuminate all eight directions. In other words, the darkness which was around them, is it removed by that light? All the eight directions become illuminated. So in the same way, the eight sakis of Radhika are like the eight directions whose only happiness is the light coming from the flames of the meeting of Radha and Krishna. Wow. Wow. Hmm? This is the meaning of sakhi. That means you cannot stay alive. You have no light in your life. You cannot even exist or know anything without the joy of Radha Krishna's meeting, not your meeting. Radha Krishna's meeting. So, Yadya Patatvara Marut Eita Data Kampam Bhaved Yuga Padeva Bhajetsha Murcham Vyagrasa Dalyata Tadavar Neya Deita Tat Shusta Yats Cha Sukhasadma Gatam Vidaya. So, Radha Rani said that Krishna and I, we are like a flame. And if we are separated, then it's as if the wind is blowing. Now if you have a flame over here and a flame over there, and the wind blows, what happens? They both flicker together. Right? So Krishna may be there, and Radhika may be there, but when the wind of separation blows, then both of them are trembling. Hmm? And at that time, the Sakis, who are like the directions, who have no light in their life without Radha Krishna's meeting, they become afraid. They become full of anxiety. How we will die. You know? Sri Krishna Virahe Radhika Radasha Amito Sahite Nari Yugala Milan Sukera Karana Jivana Charite Pa Kamala Manjari Bhakti Notako Kamala Manjari is saying that I cannot tolerate Radhika's condition in separation from Krishna. For the sake of bringing Radha and Krishna together, I can give up my life hundreds and hundreds of times. This is the bar of the Manjuris. So, Tatshustayad Sukhasatma Katam Vidaya. So, at that time when Radha and Krishna are both trembling in separation from each other, then, in great anxiety, the Saki is all running around, trying to bring them away from the wind. Right? Have you ever been outside and you have a, a deep and the wind's blowing and you think it's going to blow out? You have to get it in the shelter, right? So then you cover it with something and then you take it inside and you bring it inside, then it's safe. So just as a person who's trying to stop a flame from going out, 
tries to bring it out of the wind and into the shelter. So the life of the Sakis is simply running around here and there, making all arrangements to bring these two flames into the shelter of their happy meeting. This is the meaning of Saki. Huh? They live only for this. So, There's a definition of Saki given by Rupa Goswami. Do you know? Prema Lila Viharanam Samyak Vistarika Saki Samyak means completely. Vistarika means expanding. Vivardana It means expanding Vivardana and it can mean Vikyapana Also expanding by propagating through speech. So Samyak Vistaraki is a key. A Saki is a person who expands or expounds upon by speaking three things. Prema Lila Viharanam. So here there are three things, Prem, Lila, and Bihar. And who is a Saki? The person who completely expands and also expounds upon these three things. So their activities are six. Right? So what does that mean? How do the Sakis mm, increase, do the Vivardana increase the love of Radha and Krishna and Vikyapan expand upon the, sorry, expound upon the love of Radha and Krishna? That means that when Radha and Krishna is separated from each other, then a Saki will go from Krishna where he is to Radhika and then speak about Krishna's condition and the love of Krishna in separation. And when Radhika will hear it, then Prem is increasing. So the Saki is increasing the love and expounding on the love. Krishna was waiting for Radhika on the bank of Jamuna when Saki saw how he is. And coming to Radhika came to report. She said, Sankitu Bhavadu Priyanam Rachayati Shayanam Sajakita Narayanam Vasyati Tava Pantana Vasyati Tava Pantana She's a bit upset with Krishna. And now the Saki has come and said, Oh, Krishna's waiting for you. He's on the dear Samir Yamunati on the bank of Jamuna where a sweet breeze is blowing. And there, his Patati Patatre, Vijalati Patre, is inside the Kunj and he's decorating it for you, making a beautiful bed of flowers. But when a bird lands on a tree outside and rustles the leaves, he thinks you might be coming. So then he quickly goes outside to look, and then he sees, oh, she's not coming. And he's staring down the path waiting for you to come. Then he says, I have a few more minutes to decorate the bed. And then he goes back and then he's making some more decorations. Like this. In great anxiety, oh, when will Radhika come? So in this way, the Vikyapana, expounding the, the brain of Krishna to Radhika and increasing the brain of Radhika. On the other side, sometimes a Saki will come from Radhika and go to Krishna and tell to Krishna, Nindati Chandanam Indu Kiranam Manu Vindati Kedam Adiram Friyadilayam Milanaina Karalam Miva Kalayati Malaya Samiram Marva Krishna, how is Radhika? That's like he said, oh, 
The rays of the moon are very cold. But when the rays of the moon touch Radhika, she's burning. Why? Because she likes to meet with Krishna on a full moon night. But now she's in separation. The rays of the moon have become opposite. Everything becomes opposite. In the haven of love. That's all. I just remembered. This is my new book. <laughs> it's called The Haven of Love. And it's all about how praying makes everything upside down and everything reversed. So, <laughs> so everything becomes reversed. The rays of the moon are burning her. Kalyati Malaya Samiram. And the breeze which is blowing, which is very cool because it came from the forest of sandalwood trees in, in the south. Instead of cooling her, then it's burning her like the poison of a snake. Because it says that snakes live in sandalwood trees. So Radharani is thinking that when the snakes were hissing, then the wind picked up their poison and has now carried it and it's burning her. So everything became reversed. When Krishna hears this, oh, Radharani, she's feeling the arrows of Cupid are coming. But because she's meditating on you and seeing you in her heart, she goes like this to save you from being hit by the arrows of Cupid. Krishna, bah, he's amazing. So in this way, by Vikyapan, the Saki is describing, they're also increasing. So Prema, Lila, Viharanam, Samyak, Vistar, Kasaki, Prema, now Lila. How do they increase the Lila? Hmm? By, oh, the Sakis take Radhika from her house in the middle of light night on Abhisar to go to meet with, with Krishna. And when Radha Krishna meets afterwards, then they describe that Leela to Radhika while they're decorating her. And by hearing the description of the Leela, the Sakis have seen while she's being decorated, Radhika relives them all. Yeah? Because from Shravanam, he's a sporty. She, has, she experiences all the Leelas again new by hearing. So Prema Lila, Vihar Anam. How do they expand the Vihar? When they take Radhika and Krishna to meet in some secret cave or Kunja, Diraj, Govardhan, they do it so secretly that the, the mother-in-law or any opposite party does not know that they are meeting. And they reassure, they reassure Radharani, don't fear, don't fear. We're taking you secretly, no one will ever know. So being free from that fear, when she meets, she forgets everything. And in this way, the vihar goes on without any impediment. If anyone comes there, the sakis cheat them and send them in another direction. <laughs> so prema lila viharanam samyak vistarika saki. The sakis are expanding. Samyak means completely. But samyak has another meaning. It means that if the sakis don't do this seva, they feel as if they are not complete. I am not complete unless I can serve Radhika in this way. This is the meaning of Saki. So, Srila Krishna Skaparaj Goswami Pad, he says, Eli Saki Bina Elila Pushtina Hyai Saki Vistariya Ara Saki Ashwadai. Without the Sakis, Radhika Krishna's Leela cannot go on. They are the ones who nourish it. Saki. Saki bin a Saki bina lila pushti nahiai. The lila is not nourished. Only by them is it expanded, and by them it is tasted. So the sakis are the beginning, the middle, and the end of all Radha Krishna's lila. You see, we have a manobriti or chitta briti movements in our mind. Those are our thoughts and feelings. So Radha Rani is eight main Mano Britis have become the lead of Ishaka Chicha Champakalata. So just like you think, oh, I have an idea. I'm going to do this today. It's not like that in Radhika Krishna's Lila. When Radhika hmm, has some idea, the idea actually comes in the Sakis first. Because they're her Mano Britis. And they come and say, oh, the son of Nanda Maharaj is so beautiful. I can see. When she's very young, before she met with him, I can see that you are trembling and stunned and you cannot live without him. Why don't you write him a letter? I'll bring the paper and the pen. And you tell me what to write and I'll deliver a love letter to him. Like this. 
So, all the leelas are actually initiated by the sakis because they're radikas manobriti. They come up with the ideas and then tell that radika is very sweet and innocent. And, <laughs> and she's dependent on her sakis. Radharani has 25 qualities, we'll discuss them tomorrow. So, one is saki pranayati vashna, she's under the control of the love of her sakis. So, all the ideas come in the sakis first and they suggest, oh, let's go out tonight. <laughs> So they are the beginning of the lila, and then without the, without the the sakis, then the lilas are not pushed in. They're not nourished. You see, just a few weeks ago we were celebrating all the the uh, after the swing lila. So when Radha and Krishna sit together on the swing and the sakis push them and sing beautiful kirtans, it's so nice. But then Radhika's heart is trembling. Hmm? She thinks, oh, my Saki should sit and swing with Krishna also. So then Radhika will get up from the swing and get Lalita and sit Lalita on the swing. And then she'll sing along with the Sakis while Lalita is swinging. And then Lalita will come down and Radhika will be chakra. And like this, each one of the Asta Sakis, she makes an arrangement that they can sit and play with Krishna on the swing. Hmm? Radharani says to to Krishna, because Radharani has been drinking some honey wine and she's a bit drunk. <laughs> so she says, Karoti na adam murali rali rali. When you're drunk, you better look up, you know. <laughs> so she says, Murali, but she says, Murali rali rali. Karoti na adam murali rali rali. Brajanga na nam rit matanam tanam tanam. Tato viduna bajate jate jate. <laughs> so Radhika is speaking like this. She says, Oh, Krishna, you are playing your flute, and when you play your flute in such a beautiful way, then the hearts of the gopis are churned. That's called matanam. Hmm? Or if you're drunk, it's Brajangana read matanam tanam tanam. Karoti na adam rali 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 Brajanga na rin matanam So the Radhika says, oh, oh Krishna, all the hearts of the gopis are churned. So my Sakhi Lalitri is feeling some pain. So let, she should serve you now. And she arranges for Lalita to sit together with Krishna and they're swinging and the Sakis are singing and everything like this. So, Krishna's Kairaj Goswami Pani said, Yadhyapi Sakira Krishna Sangam Nahiman, Tatapi Radhika Yadna Kare Sangam. Even though the Sakis don't have a personal desire to enjoy with Krishna, but Radharani herself always arranges for her Sakis to meet with Krishna. Hmm? Even though they say no, 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 but she'll trick them even. Nana Chali Yadna Prerikar Sangam Akarai. Krishna Atma Sangha Vete Koti Sukhapai. And when Radhika by tricks and traps arranges for her sakis to meet with Krishna, then Radhika herself feels 10 million times more happiness when Lalita meets with Krishna than when she does herself. This is the meaning of sakis. And when Krishna sees this, Nirmala Prema Kori Rasa Pushta Tasapara Prema Deki Krishna Moi Tushta. The meaning is that when Krishna sees Anjan Ye Vishuddha Prem Kori Rasa Pushta, when Krishna sees the mutual love between Radhika and the Sakis, then the Rasa is Pushta, nourished. Anjan Ye Vishuddha Prem Kori Rasa Pushta. The whole rasa is nourished, seeing the mutual love between Radhika and her sakis. Tasapara prema deki Krishna hoy tushta. And seeing that love between them, Krishna's heart becomes tushta satisfied. And that's why Radhika, along with all the sakis, serves Krishna. And by the sakis, the rasa is pushta, nourished, and Krishna becomes tushta. Tushta Krishna. Completely satisfied. Yeah? So, yeah? Saki bina e lila pushtina hiai. First the sakis initiate the lila, then they nourish the lila, and then what they do? The next stage? They join the lilas together. After one lila is completed, then the saki is the one who comes with the idea what lila to do next. 
You see, like one time Radha Krishna met in, in Radha Kund, and they, they played swinging. But Krishna made the swing go so high that Radha Rani was about to fall off the swing and she had to embrace him to stay on the swing. Then afterwards they were doing holy throwing colors and Krishna was very strong and he was winning that battle. <laughs> they went in Radha Kund to wash off all the colors and then there was splashing water. But Krishna so strong he also defeated Radhika in the splashing game. So then Radharani said, O Vishaka, Krishna is defeating us again and again because these are all strength games. And because of this now he's become proud. So quickly think of an idea, some game you can play that requires some brains. <laughs> so we can dispatch the pride of this foolish coward boy. Huh? So then Vishak said, okay, I've got just the right idea. And then she comes with the job bar, with the board game and the dice. And the, a game that requires some intelligence. So that the radical won't lose all the time. It's something she can beat Krishna in. So in this, this is an example how Radhika relies on her sakis to make the same way from one leela to another leela, one leela to another leela, one leela to another. So sakis initiate the leela, they do the pushti, the nourishment of the leela, they join the leelas all together in a chain, and in the end, they are the ones who do the leela aswadan. They are the ones who are relishing everything. Hmm? Well, Kunjarandra Pitakshi Chititana Lavda Nanda Murchampadanti Patirata Vidadano Chestita Chitta Chitta Smarani Britani Kunje Radhika Krishna Chandra Rupa Goswami Pari is saying when the maid servants they call Nitya Sakis when the maid servants come to the Jalarandra the lattice windows of the Kunj and they look inside and Radha Krishna meeting alone. And they're playing together so beautifully. At that time, their eyes experience such bliss that Chitita Lambda Ananda Mocha Patanti. The mantra is looking inside, they become overwhelmed with bliss and they all faint and fall on the ground. <laughs> Outside the window, all the manjis are on the ground, faint, unconscious. This is the brain of Patana. When no eyes is better than a thousand eyes. Why? Because seeing the astonishing beauty of Radha Krishna's meeting, they're faint in ecstasy and they're lying on the ground. Their eyes are not closed, they're not open, they're half open. And the sanskar of that beauty is so deeply in their chitta that they're just looking at that sanskar with half open eyes lying on the ground. That darshan is thousands of times more than seeing with two eyes, ten eyes, a thousand eyes. Not seeing at all eh? is a thousand times better than seeing. So, in this way, Srila Prabhupada Saswatak always says, Radha Nagara Keli Sagara. Nivakna ali dusham yatsukam. No tal leisha lavaya te bhagavata saravopi. Sokyot savaha. Tatrasha. Yadikasya chin rupamam. Praptasya bhagya asriyam. Tad brindavana nam nidami parane. Suyam vapur nasyatu. He's saying, Radhanagara kelisagara. Radhika has a lover. Naga, named Krishna. And when he plays together with Radhika secretly in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan, then that play is like an ocean. Radha Nagara Keli Sagara. And the eyes of the Manjuris, Nimagnali, they become, they sink in the ocean of the pastimes of Radha and Vandaga Krishna. And at that time, they feel such a joy. No talation of Ayate, Bhagavata. That, you know that Krishna, good Brahma, told about Krishna. Ahubhagyam, ahubhagyam, nanda gopa prajokasam, yanvitam, paramanandam, purna brahma, sanatanam. Krishna is purna brahma, the complete absolute truth. He's sanatan, the eternal reality. He's paramananda, the highest bliss. And in Vrindavan, he experiences that highest bliss. But, the high, all the arrangements that the Supreme Lord makes for his own happiness cannot equal 
even one drop of the ocean of the bliss experienced by the eyes of those psyches. This is the thing. All of the arrangements of Paramananda Suru, Satchidananda Sri Krishna, for his own joy, is not equal to one drop. No tal lesha lavayate. Not one drop of the ocean of the bliss experienced by the eyes of the psychics. So they initiate the pastimes, they nourish the pastimes, they make the same way from pastimes to pastime, and in the end, they are the ones who do the rasaswadan, the tasting of it. This is the meaning of sakhi. Some idea coming now. Mm-hmm. Huh? What it means, sakhi? Huh? So today, we're celebrating the glories of Lalita Sakhi or Lalita Sattuni. Sila Rupa Goswami Pad has said, Radha Mukunda Parasam Bhavagarma Bindu Nirmanchan Opakarani Krita Deha Laksham Utung Saurta Visheshava Satpragalpam Devim Gunai Sulalitam Lalitam Namami I bow down and I pray to the very beautiful and charming Lalita Sakhi. Her love for Radha and Mukunda is such that if even one drop of perspiration will appear on the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna, that means she cannot tolerate the slightest inconvenience for them. So if one drop of perspiration will appear on the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna, then Lalita Saki runs there as if assuming 10 million bodies. Hmm? That's the extent of her eagerness to come and just wipe away one drop of perspiration. This is how much she cares about Radha and Krishna. Uttung vasaurin avishesha vasatpragalvam. And due to intense friendship, she can be very, let's say, assertive. Pragalva. She can be very bold and assertive. She will tell Radharani what to do. If, if Radharani, Krishna has upset Radharani, but she, Radharani is feeling, oh, but I want to forgive him. But the leader says, no. When he comes, you have to frown. And then Lalita teaches Radharani 100 ways of frowning. (laughs) Radharani is practicing in front of the mirror. 100 different kinds of frowns she's practicing in front of the mirror. She learned from Lalita. But then the moment Krishna comes, then she forgets all of them. But she's afraid to mm, extend herself to Krishna because, oh, Lalita will chastise me. So I have to pretend to be angry with him. (laughs) <laughs> because the day Oh Radhika, don't be submissive to him. Be very firmly contrary. You should make him appreciate you. He should not take you for granted. Just make him suffer a little bit longer. It's good for him. Radhe Giramsu Vitami Tishin Chai. Listen, Radhani, I'm telling this to you, it's for your own benefit. <laughs> This is for your benefit. Listen to my words. So the leash is like this very propeller. Raka sudaki na mandala kanti dandi. Vaktram sriyam chakit char jamur netram. Radha prasadna vidana kalapasitam. Devim gunai sudaritam. Lalita's face is like the shining full moon. And her eyes are like the eyes of a deer in the forest who's been startled. You know, if someone comes and makes a little noise, then they. Looks around, very big eyes. So Rad, Lalita's eyes are like this. Radha Prasadna Kalasu Prasiddha. And she's most expert in the art of decorating Radharani. Making all of her vej, all of her alankars, all of her ornaments. She's so expert. So if you want to know how to do that, then be under the guidance of Lalita Sahib. Decorating Radhika with all ornaments. Not a simple thing. Not a simple thing. Kostenda Bhuta, Madachitta, Karinda, Raja. Sri Raghunath Daska Swaipat said, Oh, when will that day come when I will decorate Radhika with earrings? Put on Radhika's big golden hoops, which are like golden ropes, for tying down the Chitta, the heart of Krishna which is like an uncontrollable mad elephant. Hmm? Oh, Baruru. Oh, Radhika. Baruru means whose thighs are very beautiful. Hmm? The implication of the poetry here, this is the alankar of poetry, that if there's a mad elephant, a king of elephants, then you have to tie him 
with golden ropes to two pillars. So you, I'm giving you these golden earrings. They're like golden ropes that will tie the heart of Krishna. And you'll be very attached to very strong pillars of your beautiful thighs of Varuru. So this is poetry with Alankar. So giving Alankars to Radhika ornaments is not only actually giving the Alankar, but giving the Alankar with a beautiful poetry full of ornaments. So that is decorating her by using Kavya Alankar, poetic ornaments. The ornament itself, what are Radharani's earrings? She's made all of bath. She's all made of bath. Every part of her is a different mood. Her earrings are low, made of greed to hear about the beauty and quality and pastimes of Krishna. So giving the earrings which are made of low, they are one alankar. Decorating Radhika's ears with this. Speaking the Kavya Alankar. And when she hears the Kavya Alankar, this beautiful poetry, Radhika becomes decorated with Bhava Lankar. You know, the Mahabhava Surupa of Radharani has Bhim Sati Bhava Alankars, 20 <coughs> emotional ornaments. Bhava, Hav, Hela, Shova, Dipti, Kanti, Ashesha, Hava, Bhava, Dira, Hira, Hara, Bhuksi, Teka, Bhuksi, Chata, Kumba, Kumba, Kumbi, Kumba, Shustani. <laughs> All these ecstatic emotional elements. And by decorating her with a lankar, with poetry with a lankar, then decorating her with the Baba lankars, because hearing the pastimes, she remembers those pastimes, and these different emotional ecstasies appear in her. And this is not the full alankar. What is the final alankar? Jayo Jayo Vallabha Raja Kumar Jayo Jayo Vallabha Raja The last ornament is Purusha Bhushan, the ornament of the hero. That is that Nanda Kumar, see Krishna himself, Radha Vakshasi Hari Maniha should become like a necklace of Hari Mani. You know what Hari Mani is? That is emeralds. Krishna is like a Nilamani, blue like a sapphire. But when he is like a uh, the necklace of jewels on the chest of Shimati Radhika, because she is golden, when gold mixes with blue, it becomes green. Green. Like this. So then, oh, this is the full alankar. So, Radha Prasadana Kala, Vidana Kala Prasita, Lalita Saki is the expert in decorating. You can learn how to decorate Radhika by Kavya Alankar, actual alankar, by Bhava Alankar, and finally, taking her into the forest at night to meet with Krishna by the Purusha Bhushan, Purusha Alanka. Radhika is decorated with Krishna. Basically, Krishna is Radhika's accessory. <laughs> this is actually the truth. And this is the reality. So, yeah. Rupa Goswami Pada said, Yam Kamapi Brajapati Brajakulei Brishobhan Jaya Prakshasa Paksha Padavim Anurudya Manam Sadhyasta Vishya Gatanina Kritata Yantim Devim Kunai Sulavitam Lalitam Namam. The meaning is this that Lalita Saki, she was born in Karela and then her parents moved and so her baby was pastimes were in Karela. Then she moved, her childhood pastimes are in Ulchagal. And after she was married, then she moved to Yavat. But if anyone, any young girl is wandering around Rajamanga, and they come to Ujjagam, to Sakigiri Parvat, and in their heart, 
They have some inclination, prakshas or prakshapadavin, some inclination to serve Radharani. And Lalita Saki detects that slight inclination in someone to serve Radharani. Then Lalita very much catches that young girl, says, come with me, <laughs> and leads her into the very confidential secret pastimes of Radharani Krishna. So, we are very fortunate. Try to come to Brajmandal Parakrama, and you can. Try to come to Brajmandal Parakrama and visit Uchagam in the association of pure Rasik Vaishnavas. And if you pray there with tears in your eyes, Devim Gunai Sulalitam Nanitam Namami, then for sure, very soon it will happen that the leader will come, oh, you like Prashubhama and me? Come with me. And he engages in her service. Lalita Sakira, Ayogya Kinkori, we know the Dharachi by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Oh, I am just an unqualified servant of the Lita Saki. When will she engage me in service of Radha Krishna? Sri Lalita Saptani Mahamod Savaki, Sri Radha Dham Raja Bhumi Ki, Sri Radha Ramana Vyari Lala Ki, Sri Radha Ramana Lala Ki, Vishwabhanu Raj Kumari Juki, Shri Pad Bhaktivedanta Ashram Maharaj Ki Jai!